Oh shoot, hope everything's okay. How's it going YouTube? This is Skull, and today I thought that I would go ahead and show off all of the Pokemon cards that I have decided to keep. So if you've been following my channel for a very long time, you'll know that this is what I used to specialize in, was opening up and collecting the Pokemon trading card game uh, cards. And, uh, and my favorite kind to collect is Helioptile, as you can see. Uh, but at the end of 2016, I decided that I, I was just done with the hobby. I wasn't interested anymore. It wasn't fun anymore. So I decided to sell most of my collection and get out of it. I did keep a lot of cards, though, which I will go ahead and show you guys off in this video. So if you're interested to see what I've got, then please go ahead and stay tuned. First, I want to go ahead and show off a few specific cards. These are my all-time favorite cards in my collection that I decided to keep. And this is what I've actually put in my game room in the opening uh, for when you first walk in uh, and turn right to the right. There's a little table with these cards on prominent display. And here they are. So first of all, this is my absolute favorite card of all time. This is a Latios Gold Star from EX Deoxys. I'm super happy to have this. Uh, this, is, this is definitely one card I never plan on getting rid of. Um, so that's my all-time favorite card. And flanking that on the table are this Latios EX and Latios EX full art cards. They're just absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then also on the table I have some movie promos. So this is a sealed Ashes Hat Pikachu, which was given away to people who went to see Pokemon I Choose You in the theaters. I actually have several of these because I saw it so many times with many people who just gave me their cards. But this one is sealed and I'll probably never open it. Same with this sealed pack of Detective Pikachu trading cards, which was given away to anyone who went to see Detective Pikachu in theaters. This jumbo card, this is a gigantic card. Let's just go ahead and compare it for size. Uh, that That is the size comparison between the two. So yeah, this is an absolutely humongous Victini card that was given away to people who went to see Pokemon White, Victini, and Zekrom in theaters. Uh, this is especially important to me because uh, when we went to see this in theaters in 2011, I proposed to my now wife afterwards. So that's, uh, th this definitely has extra meaning to me because of that. And then this is another jumbo card. This is a jumbo that was given away to people in Japan who went to see Pokemon Heroes. Uh, I, I obviously did not receive this in person, but this is uh, one of my favorite movie promos. I mean, Pokemon Heroes is my favorite Pokemon film, uh, so I was very happy to have this. In fact, me receiving this jumbo card is one of the earliest videos here on my channel. Uh, that video is, is going to be eight years old this year, so if you, uh, you want to see that, then just go to my channel and check out, you know, sort my videos by oldest to newest, and this will be like the only the second or the third video ever that I ever made. Alright, with that out of the way, I've got a lot of stuff to get through here, so let's go ahead and start with this binder here. You already saw a little snippet of it, but this is a small portion of my Helioptile collection. So I, I mean, even now, whenever I get a Helioptile card, I keep it, but uh, I, I, I always wanted to have the largest Helioptile collection in the world, and I, I think it goes without saying that that I do. These are just, oh man, I, I don't even know how many Helioptile cards I have. It has to be over a thousand. I could easily count it for the purposes of this video, but uh, needless to say, that would get kind of boring, so... Uh, but as you can see, all these are just all the identical cards. There's not even reverse hollows of this card in this binder. Speaking of this binder, it's <laughs> stupid rings are getting caught in the pages. Okay, okay, I lied. There are actually reverse hollows here in the back. But yeah, <laughs> I, I just love collecting Helioptile cards. Anytime I went to a convention, I bought up their entire Helioptile card set. Um, anytime uh, that fans sent me their Helioptile cards for FCBM Friday way back when, I added it to this binder, and uh, yeah, I'm never getting rid of my Helioptile collection. Everyone's asking if I did. Nope. Safe and sound right here. Not only that, I have another binder. <laughs> uh, this one actually has a ton of empty pages here in the back, which I'm probably going to actually take advantage of after this video is over, and you'll see why soon. Um, but this binder is even bigger than the last one because in this particular set, I forget what it's called, there was not one Helioptile card design, there were two. So this binder is for all the Helioptile cards that came from that specific set. So, oh my goodness, I, like I said, I have to have over a thousand Helioptile cards. 
And uh, at the end are all the reverse hollows. Uh, I don't think I got that many of the other design as reverse. Yeah, not really. Like, um, oh yeah, and then here at the very back are some extra special Heliop tall cards. Let's go ahead and show them off. All right, so these two are actually Korean Heliop tiles. These were, uh, there's four. Okay, these four are actually from the Korean edition of the Flashfire set. Um, so, so yeah, I have four Heli uh, Korean Heliop tiles. And this is a very special and probably the rarest Heliop tile card in existence. This is a special promo that was only given out to people who attended Jump Festa in Japan. So, very happy to have that. That's easily the rarest Heliop tile card in my whole collection. And then after that are just blank pages. Which, again, I will be filling up after this video is over because... Because I have a whole pile of even more Heliop tile cards. <laughs> Actually, this pile isn't that big. These are just uh, various Heliop tiles that were gifted to me by fans that I never got around to putting in my binder. But yeah, I got quite a few there. Then I've got a few Heliolists there at the end. I, I was collecting Heliolists too. I don't know where those went. Oh, wow. Look at all these code cards that I never redeemed. Wow. Man, I would have loved to redeem these. Too bad I never redeemed these. I wonder who's going to redeem these. I wonder who in the world could possibly redeem all of these code cards on the Pokemon trading card game online. Anyone at all who wants to redeem these perf perfectly good cards could redeem them. I do pity having to pause the video every few seconds to get your uh, to, to properly see all the codes, but you know, uh, if you want to go through the effort, then all these cards are yours. And I got even more after that. And then on the very bottom of the pile, as you, you saw a hint of earlier, I do have some extra um, ultra rares that I never got rid of. Like, this is a Zekrom EX. This is one of the first EXs ever made. Uh, this is obviously very damaged. It's probably not worth anything. Uh, but yeah, so these are just some random cards that I have. Actually, I think that's a fake. No. Well, like, yeah, I think that's a fake. Um, I... I are they? I don't know, but my point is, like, these these are just some other random cards I've got, so, anyway, um, so, uh, let's see, let's just keep moving on, keep moving on to this binder right here. Even more Heliop tiles, but these are very special because these are actually custom cards that fans have sent me over the years. Every piece of fan mail I've gotten, I have kept, especially if it's a, uh, a, a an exclusive custom-made card like what you see here. So we can just take a quick glimpse at all of these different cards. I put all the zippies and all the Heliop tiles and stuff in the front. Uh, it's anything from people just altering a, an actual card the tiniest bit to say zippy instead of Heliop tile, to making just amazing custom art Heliop tiles into real cards. Just like, I'm always blown away by the, uh, by the creativity that people put into these and I have opened up all these during FCB and Friday so if you guys binge that series you'll see every single one of them in detail my my real-time reaction to them but uh, man I, I, it's hard not to rush through this because of time but I don't I don't want for you guys to miss any of these so I guess just make sure that you pause the video to take a good look at each of them uh, look uh, just man that even something as simple as this I, I absolutely love and then here at the end of that binder is my Heliolisk collection. I have a few Japanese cards, not many. Makes me wonder what happened to those Japanese Heliop tiles I had. Oh well. And then here's uh, the English Heliolisk. Uh, again, don't have as many because they tend to be rare cards or, or uncommon cards, so they're harder to get a hold of. But the ones that I did get, I kept. It just wasn't something I was going after as hardcore as I was Heliop tile. Oh uh, look, I got a Korean Heliolisk there, that's pretty cool, and then three from the latest set. Oh no, these are promos actually, look, look it says right there, that's a, that's a XY promo, that's why I have so few of them. And then here at the very end is one of my favorite subsets of all time, if not my absolute favorite. This is a Pokemon Movie 5 Latios and Latios Trainer Kit set. And at the time that I uploaded this on YouTube, I was the very first ever to upload somebody opening up this subset. So, 
I, I have treasured this set so much. I have them triple sleeved and in the binder and the, they never see the light of day for how little I actually look at them. But man, like like I said earlier, Pokemon Heroes is my favorite card set so or p favorite movie. So this card set means a lot to me. There's Latios, Latios up there. And the uh, energies are specific to the set as well. So you need to keep those. And then just after that is the Pokemon Arceus and the Jewel of Life uh, movie set that was released in Japan. And these were actually in real booster packs that you could go to the store and buy. Uh, and we opened up a box of that here on my channel. My wife got some cards and I got some cards and we had enough to have a full set between us. So another nice movie subset that I was happy to keep. And then after that is my full dragon selection subset as well. Uh, <laughs> it's just remarkable to look back on these and just remember when I opened them up, you know, six, seven years ago for some of them. And then, oh man, the beautiful art once again for all the custom cards. Man, this is one of my favorite binders in my whole set, in my whole collection. Moving on to this uh, trainer box. I forget what this is called. Um, I think it's just an elite trainer box. Um, just because this was what was closest to me when I... Huh, grabbed it. Uh, and these are all the ultra rares that I uh, was unable to sell for one reason or another. So we got anything from old school Ho-Oh EX to um, new stuff like Articuno, Moltres, Victini, Old Kyogre, all the stuff from Legendary Collection. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly shocked that I remember most of these. Keldeo was a big deal at one point. Uh, but yeah, these are just random stuff. And I don't know if that's that I couldn't sell them or if I was just too lazy to try. Um, I think I went to the local retro game store, uh, the, the local card shop, I mean, that's a shiny Rayquaza EX, cool. And they offered me something like $50 for the box, and I decided to say no thanks, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go through everything here, but I do have some cool stuff, I, I don't know if any of this is worth anything, that used to be weird, uh, worth something. I, I used to have, I sold, I pulled this from, uh, from, uh, Dragon, what was it, um, I forget what it was called, um, the, the, the the set that this came from, that that was like the rarest card of all time when I pulled it, and I sold it to a friend for 120 bucks, and then it dropped in price, that was the best deal I ever made. Um, anyway, but yeah, like, if anyone wanted to buy this, then send me an email with a reasonable, um, a reasonable price, and I'd be willing to ship it to you, just, you know, flipping through a few more of these cards. I know that most of these are not worth anything these days, uh, not good in... <laughs> cut that out. Okay, don't cut that out. You guys get to hear it all. Um, there's just a lot of stuff in here. Like, look, I even have some gold stars. Um, that's just ridiculous. So, if you guys wanted to, um, like, look at that. How did I not sell this for real? Wow. If you guys wanted uh, to send me a fair offer for the box, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Just send me an offer. And if you're at all interested, then um, I might just uh, accept your offer and send me the money and I'll ship it to you. Because, uh, like, like I said, these cards just have no meaning to me. They're nice to look at, but I, I don't really care to keep them if that means that someone else could enjoy them more than me. So, yeah, there you go. All right, we have another binder here. These are um, more custom cards. Uh, these are ones that are not specifically Heliotile, just stuff that people made and sent to me. Uh, I just, I loved um, getting these and, and uh, keeping them because... Uh, man, I just, I, I just, I'm always blown away by the, uh, creativity that people go through, and then, well, here at the end I got some Schwartz Vice cards that I completely forgot I had. Huh. I thought my Animal Crossing cards might be with those, but now I found those and Animal Crossing isn't there, then I guess that, uh, proves otherwise. Uh, and then here we've got another little collection of empty pages for most of it, but here at the end are some other custom cards. Uh, this card right here is not a custom card. This is, a uh, Another Jump Festa promo that's actually a lot rarer than you would think. <laughs> um, this is a this is a very rare card, and some fan just gave it to me 100% for free. In fact, I made this the thumbnail, and due to that, that FCBM video is one of my most viewed videos to this day. Um, and here we got more custom-made cards. Uh, if the video can focus better, that'd be nice. Uh, that was the first large art card I ever got. Very happy to get that. Uh, but look at this. Like, somebody took the hollow foil off of this Magikarp and just made it just so, so pretty. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just so many more custom cards. Very happy to have those. And all those empty pages at the front I'm gonna have to use to, uh, get Heliopsal back into the binder. 
Okay, we got one more binder here, but a few things after the binder, so uh, let's see. Actually, this is my wife's binder, so um, so like I said, uh, we both got a full Arceus movie subset. Uh, she got all the different Arceus cards. I don't even know if I got those. Um, I don't know. Anyway, and then she was actually going after an uh, Diamond and Pearl Platinum Arceus set. Um, so there was an actual set called Arceus. Uh, and she was going after the full thing because, of course, Arceus is her favorite Pokemon, so she was going after the full set. And I think she got everything. Yeah, she did. Look at that. She got all the level X's and the three shinies. So, uh, good for her. And all nine of the Arceus that you could get in the reverse holo slot for that set. So, completely forgot about that. And then two more level X's that she just didn't get rid of. And then, um, I'm trying to remember what this is. Like... This was uh, another set that... Oh, this was the Hoopa set that released in Japan. That's right. Um, so uh, she opened up one of those boxes. And then here are my Japanese Heliopsala cards. So I was wondering where these were. I knew I brought them out for the video. And here they are, indeed. So, yeah. Um, I, obviously, Japanese cards are a little harder to get a hold of than English cards. Especially when fans were sending me hundreds of Heliopsiles a week at one point. Uh, in English, but not Japanese, so this is just where I kept my Japanese cards. I have a lot fewer of them, but the ones I do have, I'm very happy to have. And, uh, yeah, it's just very nostalgic for me. And then, um, I guess here at the very end, I, I think these are, um, that's German. That's German, and that's German. So I guess at some point I was given some, uh, German Helioptiles as well that I put here in the back. Yeah, I, I, I love collecting Helioptile cards. Even now, if somebody were to send me Helioptile cards, I would keep them and put them in these binders to uh, keep with the rest of my collection. Okay, I opened this up. This is a Detective Pikachu lunchbox. I opened this up right when the movie came out last year. Didn't get many views, so I'm sure most of you didn't even know that I have this, but here it is. Uh, I easily have a complete set of the um, movie... Okay, uh, of all of the movie sets, so here they all are. That is not from the movie. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, I just... So I, I, I just love the Detective Pikachu movie. Uh, there it is right there. So uh, easily have a full set. So very happy to have opened this up uh, and uh, to keep it. And I don't really have a particular place to put it all. I just, I'm just happy putting it in this little lunchbox with all the, uh, the coins and the jumbo cards and some other knickknacks here and there. Sealed promo, which I don't know where that was from, but uh, there we go. And then finally, I have another one of these Elite Trainer boxes, and just the same as last time, this is uh, just the cars that I couldn't sell, or, or I forget exactly why I still have them, but like, this box seems to have a bit more of the interesting stuff, um, at least at first glance. Wow, I forgot all about break. That, that was an interesting mechanic. But yeah, it's just got all sorts of random stuff. So once again, if you guys have a uh, an offer, a serious offer to buy these boxes off me, then I'll just throw everything inside. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to, uh, wow, these are from, uh, man, these are from EX Emerald. Holy cow, I forgot I had those. Those energies were worth something at one point. I don't know if they still are. But anyway, if you're seriously interested in buying these boxes off of me for like a, a set sum, then just send me an offer and we can negotiate a price. I, I have no love for this. Look at Crystal Lugia, for crying out loud. So, um, I mean, I have love for looking at it, but it has no value to me. I'm, I'm not, not telling you you can lowball me, but you, you, I think you know what I mean. I think that you know what I mean. Look at all these EX, uh, look at these Arceus set cards, that's amazing. So, yeah, um, I I've gotta stop wandering through these boxes, okay. Um, that that's gonna just do it for this video, so, hope you all enjoyed. I should have new content coming out, uh, relatively soon, so be on the lookout. Um, in the meantime, thank you all for watching, thanks all for sticking with my channel, and, uh, if you made it to the end of the video, then please tell me what your favorite Pokemon card of all time is. Looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.